Daniel Ken Inoue, Jing Shang Jian Inoue Ken, Inoue, September 7, 1924 to December 17, 2012, was an American politician who served as a United States Senator from Hawaii from 1963 until his death in 2012. A member of the Democratic Party, he was President pro tempore of the United States Senate, third in the presidential line of succession from 2010 until his death, making him the highest ranking Asian American politician in U.S. history. Inoue also chaired various Senate committees, including those on intelligence, commerce and appropriations. Inoue fought in World War II as part of the 442nd Infantry Regiment. He lost his right arm to a grenade wound and received several military decorations, including the Medal of Honor the nation's highest military award. Returning to Hawaii, Inoue earned a law degree, was elected to Hawaii's Territorial House of Representatives in 1953, and was elected to the Territorial Senate in 1957. When Hawaii achieved statehood in 1959, Inoue was elected as its first member of the U.S. House of Representatives. He was first elected to the U.S. Senate in 1962. Inoue never lost an election in 58 years as an elected official, and he exercised an exceptionally large influence on Hawaii politics. Inoue was the first Japanese American to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives and the first Japanese American to serve in the U.S. Senate. Because of his seniority, Inoue became president pro tempore of the Senate following the death of Senator Robert Byrd on June 29, 2010, making him third in the presidential line of succession after the vice president and the Speaker of the House of Representatives. At the time of his death, Inoue was the most senior sitting U.S. Senator, the second oldest sitting U.S. Senator seven and one-half months younger than Frank Lautenberg of New Jersey, and the last sitting U.S. Senator to serve during the presidencies of John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, and Richard Nixon. Inoue was a posthumous recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Among other public structures, Honolulu International Airport has since been renamed Daniel K. Inoue International Airport in his honor. Early life Inoue was born on September 7, 1924, in Honolulu, Hawaii, the son of Hayataro and Kame Inoue. He was a Nisei Japanese-American, the son of a Japanese immigrant father and a mother whose parents had migrated from Japan. He grew up in the Bingham Tract, a Chinese-American enclave in the predominantly Japanese-American community of Emiliili in Honolulu. Inoue graduated from Honolulu's President William McKinley High School. Topic: Military Service 1941 to 1947. During the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, Inoue served as a medical volunteer. In 1943, when the U.S. Army dropped its enlistment ban on Japanese Americans, Inoue curtailed his pre medical studies at the University of Hawaii and enlisted in the Army. He volunteered to be part of the segregated All Nisei 442nd Regimental Combat Team. This army formation was mostly made up of second generation Japanese Americans from Hawaii and the mainland. Inoue was promoted to sergeant within his first year, and he was assigned as a platoon sergeant. He served in Italy in 1944 during the Rome Arno campaign before his regiment was transferred to the Vosges Mountains region of France, where he spent two weeks in the battle to relieve the Lost Battalion, a battalion of the 141st Infantry Regiment that was surrounded by German forces. He received a battlefield commission to second lieutenant for his actions there, becoming the youngest officer in his regiment. At one point while he was leading an attack, a shot struck him in the chest directly above his heart, but the bullet was stopped by the two silver dollars he happened to have stacked in his shirt pocket. He continued to carry the coins throughout the war in his shirt pocket as good luck charms, until he lost them shortly before the battle in which he lost his arm. Assault on Cole Musatello On April 21, 1945, Lieutenant Inoue was grievously wounded while leading an assault on a heavily defended ridge near San Terenzo in Liguria, Italy, called the Cole Musatello. The ridge served as a strongpoint of the German fortifications known as the Gothic Line, the last and most unyielding line of German defensive works in Italy. 
As he led his platoon in a flanking maneuver, three German machine guns opened fire from covered positions 40 yards away, pinning his men to the ground. Inoue stood up to attack and was shot in the stomach. Ignoring his wound, he proceeded to attack and destroy the first machine gun nest with hand grenades and his Thompson submachine gun. When informed of the severity of his wound, he refused treatment and rallied his men for an attack on the second machine gun position, which he successfully destroyed before collapsing from blood loss. As his squad distracted the third machine gunner, Lieutenant Inoue crawled toward the final bunker, coming within ten yards. As he raised himself on his left elbow and cocked his right arm to throw his last hand grenade, a German soldier saw Inoue and fired a 30mm Schiesbecker anti-personnel rifle grenade from inside the bunker, which struck Inoue directly on his right elbow. The high explosive grenade failed to detonate, saving Lieutenant Inoue from instant death but amputating most of his right arm at the elbow except for a few tendons and a flap of skin via blunt force trauma. Despite this gruesome injury, Lieutenant Inoue was again saved from likely death due to the blunt, low-velocity grenade tearing the nerves in his arm unevenly and incompletely, which involuntarily squeezed the grenade tightly via a reflex arc instead of going limp and dropping it at Inoue's feet. However, this still left him crippled, in terrible pain, under fire with minimal cover and staring at a live grenade, clenched in a fist that suddenly didn't belong to me anymore. Inoue's horrified soldiers moved to his aid, but he shouted for them to keep back out of fear his severed fist would involuntarily relax and drop the grenade. As the German inside the bunker began hastily reloading his rifle with regular full metal jacket ammunition replacing the wood-tipped rounds used to propel rifle grenades, Inoue quickly pried the live hand grenade from his useless right hand and transferred it to his left. The German soldier had just finished reloading and was aiming his rifle to finish him off when Lieutenant Inoue threw his grenade through the narrow firing slit, killing the German. Stumbling to his feet with the remnants of his right arm hanging grotesquely at his side and his Thompson in his off hand, braced against his hip, Lieutenant Inoue continued forward, killing at least one more German before suffering his fifth and final wound of the day in his left leg, which finally halted his one-man assault for good and sent him tumbling unconscious to the bottom of the ridge. He awoke to see the worried men of his platoon hovering over him. His only comment before being carried away was to gruffly order them back to their positions, saying, Nobody called off the war. The remainder of Inoue's mutilated right arm was later amputated at a field hospital without proper anesthesia, as he had been given too much morphine at an aid station and it was feared any more would lower his blood pressure enough to kill him. Post-injury career Although Inoue had lost his right arm, he remained in the military until 1947 and was honorably discharged with the rank of captain. At the time Inoue left the army, he was a recipient of the Bronze Star Medal and the Purple Heart. Inoue was initially awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for his bravery in this action, with the award later being upgraded to the Medal of Honor by President Bill Clinton alongside 19 other Nisei servicemen who served in the 442nd Regimental Combat Team and were believed to have been denied proper recognition of their bravery due to their race. His story, along with interviews with him about the war as a whole, were featured prominently in the 2007 Ken Burns documentary The War. While recovering at Percy Jones Army Hospital from war wounds and the amputation of his right forearm following the grenade wound, Inoue met future Republican presidential candidate Bob Dole, then a fellow patient. While at the same hospital, Inoue also met future fellow Democrat and Senator Philip Hart, who had been injured on D Day. Dole mentioned to Inoue that after the war, he planned to go to Congress. Inoue beat him there by a few years. The two remained lifelong friends. In 2003, the hospital was renamed the Hart Dole Inoue Federal Center in honor of the three World War II veterans. <laughs> Medal of Honor Citation Citation Second Lieutenant Daniel K. Inoue distinguished himself by extraordinary heroism in action on 21 April 1945, in the vicinity of San Terenzo, Italy. While attacking a defended ridge guarding an important road junction, Second Lieutenant Inoue skillfully directed his platoon through a hail of automatic weapon and small arms fire, in a swift enveloping movement that resulted in the capture of an artillery and mortar post and brought his men to within 40 yards of the hostile force. 
Emplaced in bunkers and rock formations, the enemy halted the advance with crossfire from three machine guns. With complete disregard for his personal safety, 2nd Lieutenant Inoue crawled up the treacherous slope to within five yards of the nearest machine gun and hurled two grenades, destroying the emplacement. Before the enemy could retaliate, he stood up and neutralized a second machine gun nest. Although wounded by a sniper's bullet, he continued to engage other hostile positions at close range until an exploding grenade shattered his right arm. Despite the intense pain, he refused evacuation and continued to direct his platoon until enemy resistance was broken and his men were again deployed in defensive positions. In the attack, 25 enemy soldiers were killed and eight others captured. By his gallant, aggressive tactics and by his indomitable leadership, 2nd Lieutenant Inoue enabled his platoon to advance through formidable resistance, and was instrumental in the capture of the ridge. Second Lieutenant Inoue's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Congressional career. Due to the loss of his arm, Inoue abandoned his plans to become a surgeon and returned to college to study political science under the GI Bill. He graduated from the University of Hawaii at Manoa in 1950 with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. He earned his law degree from George Washington University Law School in Washington, D.C., in 1953 and was elected into the Phi Delta Phi legal fraternity. In 1953, Daniel Inoue was elected to the Hawaii Territorial House of Representatives, and was immediately elected majority leader. He served two terms there, and was elected to the Hawaii Territorial Senate in 1957. Midway through Inoue's first term in the Territorial Senate, Hawaii achieved statehood. He won a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives as Hawaii's first full member, and took office on August 21, 1959, the same date Hawaii became a state. He was re-elected in 1960. United States Senate In 1962, he was elected to the U.S. Senate, succeeding fellow Democrat Orrin E. Long. He was the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee between 1976 and 1979 and chairman of the Senate Indian Affairs Committee between 1987 and 1995. He introduced the National Museum of the American Indian Act in 1984 which led to the inauguration of the National Museum of the American Indian in 2004. He was chairman of the Senate Indian Affairs Committee between 2001 and 2003, chairman of the Senate Commerce Committee between 2007 and 2009 and chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee between 2009 and 2012. He was re-elected eight times, usually without serious difficulty. His closest race was in 1992 when State Senator Rick Reed held him to 57% of the vote. The only time he received less than 69% of the vote. He delivered the keynote address at the turbulent 1968 Democratic National Convention in Chicago and gained national attention for his service on the Senate Watergate Committee. Inoue was also involved in the Iran-Contra investigations of the 1980s, chairing a special committee Senate Select Committee on Secret Military Assistance to Iran and the Nicaraguan Opposition from 1987 until 1989. During the hearings, Inoue referred to the operations that had been revealed as a secret government, saying, there exists a shadowy government with its own air force, its own navy, its own fundraising mechanism, and the ability to pursue its own ideas of the national interest, free from all checks and balances, and free from the law itself. Criticizing the logic of Marine Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North's justifications for his actions in the affair, Inoue made reference to the Nuremberg trials, provoking a heated interruption from North's attorney Brendan Sullivan, an exchange that was widely repeated in the media at the time. He was also seen as a pro-Taiwan senator and helped in forming the Taiwan Relations Act. On May 1, 1977, Inoue stated that President Carter had telephoned him to express his objections to a sentence in the Senate Intelligence Committee's report on the Central Intelligence Agency. On November 20, 1993, Inoue voted against the North American Free Trade Agreement. 
The trade agreement linked the United States, Canada, and Mexico into a single free trade zone and was signed into law on December 8 by President Bill Clinton. In 2009, Inouye assumed leadership of the powerful Senate Committee on Appropriations after longtime Chairman Robert Byrd stepped down. Following the latter's death on June 28, 2010, Inouye was elected President pro tempore, the officer third in the presidential line of succession. In 2010, Inouye announced his decision to run for a ninth term. He easily won the Democratic primary—the real contest in this heavily Democratic state—and then trounced Republican State Representative Campbell Cavasso with 74% of the vote. Inouye ran for Senate Majority Leader several times without success. Prior to his death, Inouye announced that he planned to run for a record tenth term in 2016 when he would have been 92 years old. He also said, I have told my staff and I have told my family that when the time comes, when you question my sanity or question my ability to do things physically or mentally, I don't want you to hesitate, do everything to get me out of here, because I want to make certain the people of Hawaii get the best representation possible. Topic: 1980s. In 1986, West Virginia Senator Robert Byrd opted to run for Senate Majority Leader, believing that his two opponents to claiming the position would be Inouye and Louisiana Senator J. Bennett Johnston. Cutting a deal with Inouye, Byrd pledged that he would step aside from the position in 1989 in the event that Inouye supported him for Majority Leader for the 100th United States Congress. Inouye accepted the offer and was given the chance to select the new Senate sergeant at arms. Inouye publicly did not deny this deal, though implied his backing of Byrd for majority leader was from both respect and friendship. The same year as the deal with Byrd, Inouye was named as one of the 80 individuals to receive the Ellis Island Medal of Honor from the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation. Topic: <laughs> Foreign Policy. In early 1981, Inouye called for tighter restrictions on what Americans can ship overseas, citing his belief that American international stature would be harmed along with the country's foreign policy interests in the event of the shipments causing environmental damage. In March 1981, Inouye was one of 24 elected officials to issue a joint statement calling on the Reagan administration to compose a method of finding a peaceful solution that would end the Ulster conflict. In July 1981, a federal commission began hearings to decide on rewards awarding compensations to Japanese Americans placed in internment camps during World War II, Inoue and fellow Hawaii Senator Spark M. Matsunaga delivering opening statements. In November, during an appearance at the opening of a 10-day public forum at Tufts University on Japanese internment, Inoue stated his opposition to distributing reparation fees for Japanese Americans previously incarcerated during World War II, adding that it would be insulting even to try to do so. In August 1988, Inouye attended President Reagan's signing of legislation apologizing for the internment camps and establishing a $1.25 billion trust fund to pay reparations to both those who were placed in camps and to their families. In September 1989, during the Senate's debate over bestowing reparations to Japanese Americans interned during World War II, Inouye delivered his first public speech on the issue and noted $22,000 were bestowed to each captive American in the Iran hostage crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Domestic policy In April 1981, Inouye introduced a Senate joint resolution proclaiming April 19-26, 1982, as National Nurse Midwifery Week. Inouye stated the profession deserved such recognition because of the unique contribution that our nation's nurse midwives have made to the high quality of life that we possess in the United States. In March 1982, amid controversy surrounding Democrat Harrison A. Williams for taking bribes in the Abscam sting operation, Inouye delivered a closing defense argument stating the possibility of the Senate looking foolish in the event the conviction was reversed on appeal. Inouye confirmed that he had received telephone calls regarding Williams critiquing his remarks during his defense of himself the previous week and questioned if the Senate was going to punish him. Because his presentation was rambling, not in the tradition of Daniel Webster, and for his wife believing in him. 
In October 1982, after President Reagan appointed two new members to the board of the Legal Services Corporation, Inoue was one of 32 senators to sign a letter expressing grave concerns over the appointments. On December 23, Inoue voted against a five-cent-a-gallon increase on gasoline taxes across the U.S. imposed to aid the financing of highway repairs and mass transit. The bill passed on the last day of the 97th United States Congress. In March 1984, Inoue voted against a constitutional amendment authorizing periods in public school for silent prayer and against President Reagan's unsuccessful proposal for a constitutional amendment permitting organized school prayer in public schools. In August, Inoue secured the acceptance of the Senate's Defense Appropriations Subcommittee for an amendment meant to cure mainland milk arriving at Hawaiian and Alaskan military bases sour, arguing thousands of gallons of milk coming from the mainland must be dumped due to their souring and said shipments were arriving eight days after pasteurization. In February 1989, after Oliver L. North went on trial in federal district court amid accusations of a dozen crimes in accordance with his role in diverting profits from the secret sale of arms to Iran to the Nicaraguan when rebels and Jack Brooks questioned North's role in composing a contingency plan in the event of an emergency that would suspend the American Constitution. Inoue replied that the inquiry touched about a both classified and sensitive matter that would only be discussed in a closed session. <laughs> Gang of Fourteen On May 23, 2005, Inoue was a member of a bipartisan group of 14 moderate senators, known as the Gang of 14, to forge a compromise on the Democrats' use of the judicial filibuster, thus blocking the Republican leadership's attempt to implement the nuclear option, a means of forcibly ending a filibuster. Under the agreement, the Democrats would retain the power to filibuster a Bush judicial nominee only in an extraordinary circumstance. And the three most conservative Bush appellate court nominees, Janice Rogers Brown, Priscilla Owen, and William H. Pryor Jr., would receive a vote by the full U.S. Senate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Electoral history. Inoue was wildly popular in his home state and never lost an election. Family Inoue's wife of nearly 57 years, Margaret Maggie Awamura Inoue, died of cancer on March 13, 2006. On May 24, 2008, he married Irene Hirano in a private ceremony in Beverly Hills, California. Hirano was president and founding chief executive officer of the Japanese American National Museum in Los Angeles, California. She resigned the position at the time of her marriage in order to be closer to her husband. According to the Honolulu Advertiser, Inoue was 24 years older than Hirano. On May 27, 2010, Hirano was elected chair of the nation's second largest nonprofit organization, the Ford Foundation. Inoue's son Kenny was the guitarist for influential DC hardcore punk band Marginal Man. Honors and decorations Grand Cross of the Philippine Legion of Honor in 1993. On June 21, 2000, Inoue was presented the Medal of Honor by President Bill Clinton for his service during World War II. Also in 2000, Inoue was awarded the Grand Cordon of the Order of the Rising Sun by the Emperor of Japan in recognition of his long and distinguished career in public service. In 2006, the U.S. Navy Memorial awarded Inoue its Naval Heritage Award for his support of the U.S. Navy and the military during his terms in the Senate. Grand Cross Bayani of the Order of Lacandula on August 14, 2006. In 2007, Inoue was personally inducted as a Chevalier of the Legion of Honor by President of France Nicolas Sarkozy. In 2008, Inoue was awarded the Israeli Chief of Staff Medal of Appreciation by Gabi Ashkenazi. In February 2009, a bill was introduced in the Philippine House of Representatives by Rep. Antonio Diaz seeking to confer honorary Filipino citizenship on Inoue, Senators Ted Stevens and Daniel Akaka, and Representative Bob Filner for their role in securing the passage of benefits for Filipino World War II veterans. 
In June 2011, Inoue was appointed a Grand Cordon of the Order of the Polonia Flowers, the highest Japanese honor which may be conferred upon a foreigner who is not a head of state. Only the seventh American to be so honored, he is also the first American of Japanese descent to receive it. The conferment of the order was, "...to recognize his continued significant and unprecedented contributions to the enhancement of goodwill and understanding between Japan and the United States." In 2011, Philippine President Benigno Aquino III conferred Order of Sikatuna upon Inoue. He had previously been awarded Order of Lakandula and a Philippine Republic Presidential Unit Citation. Inoue was inducted as an honorary member of the Navajo Nation entitled, The Leader Who Has Returned With a Plan. On August 8, 2013, Inoue was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama. The citation in the press release reads as follows, Daniel Inoue was a lifelong public servant. As a young man, he fought in World War II with the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, for which he received the Medal of Honor. He was later elected to the Hawaii Territorial House of Representatives, the United States House of Representatives, and the United States Senate. Senator Inoue was the first Japanese American to serve in Congress, representing the people of Hawaii from the moment they joined the Union. In 2014, Israel named the Simulator Room of the Aero Anti Missile Defense System in his honor. On April 27, 2017, Honolulu International Airport was officially renamed Daniel K. Inoue International Airport in his honor. Awards and decorations On May 27, 1947, he was honorably discharged and returned home as a captain with a Distinguished Service Cross, Bronze Star Medal, two Purple Hearts, and twelve other medals and citations. In 2000, his Distinguished Service Cross was upgraded to the Medal of Honor. <laughs> Death In 2012, Inoue began using a wheelchair in the Senate to preserve his knees, and received an oxygen concentrator to aid his breathing. In November 2012, he suffered a minor cut after falling in his apartment and was treated at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. On December 6, he was again hospitalized at George Washington University Hospital so doctors could further regulate his oxygen intake, and was transferred to Walter Reed Medical Center on December 10. He died there of respiratory complications seven days later on December 17, 2012. According to the Senator's Congressional website, his last word was, Aloha. Prior to his death, Inoue left a letter encouraging Governor Neil Abercrombie to appoint Colleen Hanabusa to succeed Inoue should he become incapacitated. Instead, Abercrombie appointed Hawaii's Lieutenant Governor Brian Schatz. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid announced Inoue's death on the floor of the Senate, referring to Inoue as, certainly one of the giants of the Senate." Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell referred to Inoue as one of the finest senators in United States history. President Barack Obama referred to him as a "...true American hero." Inoue's body lay in state at the United States Capitol Rotunda on December 20, 2012, only the 31st person—and first Asian American—so honored. President Obama, former President Bill Clinton, Vice President Joe Biden and House Speaker John Boehner spoke at a funeral service at the Washington National Cathedral on December 21. Inoue's body was then flown to Hawaii where it lay in state at the Hawaii State Capitol on December 22. A second funeral service was held at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Honolulu the following day. Legacy On May 23, 2013, Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus announced that the next Arleigh Burke class destroyer DDG would be named USS Daniel Inoue DDG 118 to honor Inoue. In December 2013, the Advanced Technology Solar Telescope then under construction at Haleakala Observatory on Maui was renamed the Daniel K. Inoue Solar Telescope in his memory. A building at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research is named after Inoue. Topic: See also Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies 
List of Medal of Honor recipients for World War II List of Asian American Medal of Honor recipients List of Asian Americans and Pacific Islands Americans in the United States Congress List of United States Congress members who died in office 2000 Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, housed in the Daniel K. Inouye Building